But this is a, a, a labor-intensive, exciting effort. It's, it's not really a three-ring circus. It's a, in this case, 22-ring circus. The course is a survey course on major topics of global security. And for the last 18 years, we've run a simulation in recent years about the Iranian nuclear program. In the simulation, the students experience diplomatic negotiations in the UN Security Council. They all belong to different delegations, and they are there to promote different interests of their respective countries. Allow me to welcome you on behalf of the entire United Nations staff to this first plenary session of this emergency meeting of the Security Council. The Secretary General has... They interact with each other, they make speeches, they are heavily involved in official and unofficial negotiations and eventually, hopefully, they achieve an agreement. I hope that the students will come away with three things. One, it's very important to understand the technical details and how to differentiate, if it's possible, between a nuclear power program and a nuclear weapons program. Second, I want students to understand that domestic politics, not just grand strategy matters. And then lastly, I want students to understand negotiation skills. Sometimes you have to make an ambiguous element to an agreement in order to get two sides to agree to something, so that they both can go home and claim victory with some legitimacy, but also not rub the other side's face in some of the concessions that they've made. There are so many things that I want them to learn, and almost none of it is specific to nuclear proliferation. They learn the limits of, of, of power. What happens if you are a small country, right, that has virtually no power whatsoever? How do you create leverage? They learn to operate under pressure. They say, well, you know, that's real life for you. You never have enough time. You're never that well prepared. And this is something that they can take with them to whatever it is that you, they'll do after, uh, after they leave Stanford. Today we do everything through a classified email system where the students are sending messages to their head of state. And we have these read only by the delegation during the negotiations. A midterm exam has WikiLeaks open up all those documents. And so they write a political science article trying to explain the outcome of the simulation. Oh, that's what the Americans said that got the deal. That's why the Russians were going to veto it. These are simulated historical documents and the art of how to interpret them is a, a real good talent to learn. What matters is that you get students out of their comfort zone. It's hard to get an agreement that both sides find acceptable. And that's one of the big issues in order to try to uh, encourage that kind of learning with the students.